What's up, gangs? July 9th. Just kind of want to do an update on the current positions. First up, uh, obviously going to talk about INO. Uh, this thing ripped just about 24% today, uh, and it's even up again after hours up to 135, which is an additional. Let's see what the uh, what that equates to. Uh, it's up another 14% after hours. So we are absolutely killing it on this stock right now. Uh, I locked in about $2,100 in gains on it so far uh, today. And uh, <clears throat> I still have uh, 15,000 shares uh, left open on this. So you know, profit target here, looking on INO. Uh, if we can bring this back a little bit, it looks like we're not going to... Let me open up Thinkorswim here so we can get a better view since my TC2000 won't drag back that far. But we are looking absolutely beautiful here. This is actually a, a gold pattern here on INO. Gold patterns are by far the best uh, <clears throat> trading patterns that I trade. Um, you know, if you've watched Foos 4, uh, you definitely uh, saw the illustrations of a stock when it breaks out over a dollar after being under a dollar for, you know, quite some time. There is huge implications of that. So let's take a look at the longer term chart here on INL. Going back, uh, we'll even bring it back five years to the weekly chart here. Uh, but basically, you know, looking at the weekly chart here, uh, this thing had been consolidating here at about 80 cents. You know, it was pre breakout of a dollar of this channel, but we had been under 80 cents. We've been continually spiking out there. This is the weekly chart. Uh, it's happened about 80 cents, and it just continually spiked there for, you know, over a year, almost two years. So, all of 2012, most of 2013, and some of 2011, it continued to consolidate under uh, 80 cents there, and then finally broke out. Uh, which definitely led to the actual breakout over a uh, dollar per share that we got today. Uh, profit target here, you can see this was sp uh, spiking out towards a dollar fifty. That's why uh, I'm calling out a dollar fifty as the first initial price target. Obviously, two dollars is the next whole number, so that's going to be kind of the gold pattern target. You know, when a stock breaks out of a gold pattern, typically it can and definitely will run until two dollars per share. It's just you know having the patience to do that. Uh, it's very difficult. I've never done it before. I've played many gold patterns over the last eight years, but I've never been able to have the patience to hold a stock from a dollar up to two dollars per share. But uh, maybe I will in INO. Maybe I'll hold a small position, but I'm guarantee you know I'm sure I'll take some profits uh, much sooner than that. Uh, I already took, as I said, twenty one hundred dollars in profits today. Sold some at one hundred five. Rebought again at one hundred five. Uh, and then sold uh, 5,000 shares at 118. So looking at the intraday chart here on INO, you can see this is actually up uh, here to 135 is the last sale uh, after hours and we closed at 118 today. So we're up huge after hours again. But going back here to the opening bell, you know, we first, uh, we bought in more of this yesterday trying to get that dollar roll. Uh, looking back here, <clears throat> yesterday I bought in uh, more at 99 cents and a dollar, uh, trying to get that to break over a dollar. And unfortunately, it did not do that. If you look over here on the uh, daily chart, you can see that just nasty spike up. You know, it's definitely a little bit sketch, like, uh-oh, uh maybe this might uh, pull back here again towards the 13 EMA. But, you know, additionally, we uh, what we bought into was this actual dip right here to 83 cents. Uh, this was pulling back down. It came back and retested that 80 cent line uh, that I was showing here. As you can see, 80 cents was kind of that initial breakout. We got that first rip, two dollar, pulled back towards 80 cents, uh, and that's where I bought in my first 10,000 shares, right around here. Off that, after that, bounced off 80, uh, and then continually added here in the 90s uh, cent level, and then even added again today uh, when this broke out intraday. We actually had a first F1 breakout right out of the gates this morning uh, to trigger the dollar roll. When we uh, first spiked up, we had that nice big gap on volume. Uh, which is kind of the indication of a potential F1 breakout here. Uh, then once that broke that high of the day, that's an F1 trigger, and that's exactly what I bought into. I got in uh, some more shares as soon as that broke out of a dollar, and then sold 5,000. I think it was maybe about 103. I can't remember what the hell it was. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 103. 
uh, it sold some more shares of INO, and then we bought back in. It's actually broke out of an F3 today. Another perfect example of an F uh, pattern that I teach in FUS4 Part Two, FUS4 Part Two, which is you know hugely beneficial to understanding intraday uh, trading action. You know, FUS4 is all swing trading. Uh, FUS4 Part Two is all about how to implement uh, and read the intraday charts. And I added perfectly here. Again, 10,000 more shares of INO at 105. Uh, basically, an F3 is a stock that has you know, been consolidating uh, for most of the session and forms up a horizontal neckline, as you can see here, that it's been building at 105 all day long and continued to trade up against that resistance. And as soon as that broke out in the last two hours of the session, that's an F3 breakout. Uh, we ripped this right here at 105. A uh, huge volume spike added 10,000 more shares and I sold 5,000 shares uh, at 118, locking in the profit, and now still on 15,000 shares, and we're up to 135 after hours. So I definitely think we could easily hit $1.50 into tomorrow with INO. Uh, I'm currently up uh, four, five, six, <clears throat> almost 7,000, shy of $7,000 on this trade so far. So awesome trade so far on INO. Perfect Foos4 gold pattern. I love seeing these things work out. Uh, you know, we got a little bit of a sketch price action right there uh, around that dollar, but we eventually did rip huge volume in. Uh, couldn't ask for a better trade here on INO. Uh, another stock that we're looking at here, uh, what are we looking at? DVAX, DVAX. This was kind of a revival pattern that ripped today up to 123. I tried to sell some shares at 120. I only got about. Uh, 1600 shares fill there so I was waiting for that to pop back up to send out the alert and then it was only just a very very small position I'm still long my core position of uh, just about 11,000 shares of DVAX but but what I bought into here was this consolidation uh, as it started to break over 110 uh, or not 110 110 uh, 109 level uh, you know I had been trying to trade this bounce at previously back in this area and we finally kind of started to form a neckline that actually had a resistance there at about 110 to actually buy into. Uh, but my uh, buy price there was about 111, 112 once this started breaking out here. We got that first initial spike here, nice volume in, and then I actually rebought some more shares of DVAX at, uh, where did I get in more? <clears throat> but another 2,500 shares here. This is the same, uh, same F3 breakout pattern where it had been consolidating. Uh, for most of the session, then that started looking like it was going to break high, so added more at 118. We ripped 124, but got some heavy sellers in the close. So it's definitely a volatile stock, but you know this thing is highly beaten down, uh, and we got some nice volume coming in here. We had some nice buying pressure back here with this volume, and then again today, uh, and we kind of halted out near 13 EMA resistance. But there's definitely more upside potential. Uh, for short sellers to get squeezed out and also new buyers to come in for the bounce. So I still like DVAX. We'll see how it plays out into later this week, but uh, got a nice little profit so far on DVAX. VPCO, you know, this thing is still continually to uh, bouncing back down into the 109 area. You know, every day it keeps uh, dropping into the 109, 110 area, but it continues to find buyers. You can see this sold off your intraday, but then had a huge buyer here with about 50,000 shares as soon as that uh, went down there. So somebody continues to buy this stock uh, as it dips and we're continuing continuing to ride the 13 EMA. So as long as this rides the 13 EMA, I'm still long uh, and I'll even actually add more to this if we break out above that 120 flag level. Because if we break out above the 120s, it's very possible we retest the 140 level and maybe even break out highs. Uh, you know, this is uh, e-cigarette stock, you know, e-cigarettes, the electronic cigarettes, which are basically just vapor, uh, you know, they're <clears throat> getting extremely uh, popular, you know, they're j they just popped up a store uh, here in San Diego, the first one that I've seen uh, in my local area. Uh, so, you know, it's a growing trend that could, you know, definitely see this stock move higher. I just hope that we don't break down the 13 EMA uh, and we can see this continue up. I'm still long about 11,000 shares VPCO, and I definitely think there's more upside potential to this stock, but it's a little crap penny stock, you know, anything can happen and it's going to be a very volatile trade. You know, I first initially showcased this in the 80s, uh, right around here, and it ripped all the way up to 145. Unfortunately, I did not take part in that uh, first breakout, but got back in here on the dip, 
uh, and hopefully we can see a secondary run for VPCL. M-E-E-T, this was another one that uh, I had been watching. You know, I put this on the watch list last night as a potential dip buy. Uh, as this kind of bounced off the 13 EMA after yesterday's sell-off, this was actually a huge earnings run. So it has positive earnings out uh, as of late. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, the indication of a trend reversal here for this stock. It had that huge run that day, huge volume in lately. And now we're kind of consolidating in this triangular pattern. Uh, hopefully we can consolidate in between the 13 EMA and this neckline area we're in the 180s. And we can actually rip up towards two or higher. Uh, what I bought into today was basically right out of the gates this morning. Uh, we started going red to green. I went long 6,500 shares at 166, hoping that we could bounce off the 50-day moving average, as you can see here, which is currently sitting at about 163. Uh, so hopefully the 50-day moving average can hold, but the 13 EMA is right under it at 156. And then all of a sudden today, I actually went and drove to go get some coffee, and I came back and this thing just absolutely ripped right here. A huge volume just came in and we ripped about uh, over 10 cents there and we're now closed at 175. So I definitely still like this stock chart. There's definitely a lot of buying interest in it. A uh, huge volume coming in lately and also still has that earnings momentum. So goal of this stock you know, is to break over the 180s and potentially head to two or higher. Uh, what else we got here? NNVC, this is one uh, that had a nice solid rip today. Big volume in today. I actually got long a thousand shares. I did not alert it. I was trying to get a bigger fill than that. Uh, I actually tried to buy in on the dip for 10,081 and I thought I was gonna get filled right here when this dipped, but my order just did not go through. Um, I'll continue to try to buy this if we can get in, get in on a dip. I'll show you on the other uh, on this platform, let's give us a little better illustration of the uh, longer term chart breakout here. Uh, so this is actually the weekly chart, but you can see kind of a similar pattern to INL. This is in a revival pattern here that had been peaking out in that 80 cent level for a while. Then recently had this nice couple spikes in volume here. So definitely new buying interest and actually broke out uh, officially today. So uh, if we get any kind of dip into uh, tomorrow in the low 80 section, uh, I'll definitely look to uh, potentially add to this position and actually get an official alert out on this stock. I tried to buy in today. Unfortunately, this did not get my fill. Uh, Kat made a nice call on getting into this stock under uh, under 80 cents. Uh, just the volume was so dry this morning that I just didn't have uh, the balls to really just buy in and just go for it. But uh, I definitely like the chart here on NNBC and definitely watching it into tomorrow. But uh, anyways, that's it for today's kind of update. Uh, I made, <clears throat> I'm up, you know, now with this uh, gap open, you know, I'm pretty much got about $8,000 in profits on these positions, uh, mainly from INO. Uh, and I, you know, that's freaking awesome. Uh, <clears throat> it's been a great day and hopefully we can see INO continue to kill it for us into tomorrow. But that's it for today's update and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning on Foos TV.